One of the greatest crimes, spiritual crimes, that occurs every day in the Ummah is at the hands of loved ones to loved ones. Parents, spouses, husbands, we have sometimes the most, the worst things to say to our loved ones. And sometimes we say those things in the name of Allah. Allah will punish you for what you just did. There will be justice on you. Allah doesn't, Allah will not forgive what you, you know. And mother can say that to her child, wife can say to husband, siblings can say to each other. Like invoking like Allah is some angry weapon that you can invoke because you're upset, Allah must be upset. And you can just use Allah like that. That's not our place. And you know, for a lot of people, they have heard this kind of thing so many times over and over and over again, that they have become far away from Allah Himself. They heard from their loved ones. They heard from their, a, a, a child heard, heard from his father or his, his mother all the time. Allah will punish you if you don't pray. Allah is going to get you if you don't pray. Allah is going to, you know, Allah is very angry at you because you ate that cookie. Like constantly, Allah is angry, Allah is angry, Allah is angry. When that young boy becomes a 16, 17, 18 years old, 18 year old, he wants nothing to do with Allah. And when he hears Allah is merciful and Allah is forgiving, he has a hard time believing it because that's not what he grew up with. He did not grow up with a, when Allah, with an Allah who is forgiving or an Allah who is merciful. As a matter of fact, every time he got in trouble, it's because of Allah he got in trouble. That's how he got in trouble. And then those same parents say, we taught this child about Allah from the beginning. I don't know why he's running away from deen. Yeah, but which Allah did you teach him about? An angry Allah? An Allah that seeks to punish? مَا يَفْعَلُ اللَّهُ بِعَذَابِكُمْ Allah says, what's Allah gonna get out of punishing you? <laughs> That's what Allah says Himself. What is He, what, what is he in just the business of coming after you? Going at you? So what happens with people? They are in a difficult situation. And what do they do? They're constantly thinking Allah is getting them. Allah is hurting them. Allah is doing this to them. You know, I was reminded by a colleague of mine. I was just, when I was coming here to Malaysia, out of nowhere, this has never happened. I developed this crazy bacterial infection thing in my, in my tonsils and it swelled up and my half of my neck was completely blocked and I felt like I was drowning in one nostril and I'm still on the plane and I get halfway through to Abu Dhabi on the way here I run over to a clinic and they say you have to you know take these heavy medications I come here they, the recommendation is I should go to surgery I'm like what is going on this is and they even told me this never happens like this is really crazy this is, I've never, I've, in my entire career of 30 years, I've seen like one other case of this. And I'm lying there in the hospital bed waiting for a surgery to take place. And I'm thinking, and I was reminded by a colleague, this is the best place you could have been. Like, there's no better place than this hospital bed for you at this moment. That is Allah's plan for you. Here I am thinking I have to cancel this program, I can't go over here, I can't go over there. How are we going to manage this situation, that situation, that calendar, that meeting? all this way, I came all this way and now look, I didn't get to do this, that or the other. And then all of a sudden, just that little reminder, you're just like, yeah, this is the best place I should be. This is, this, th there's no better place because this wasn't planned by me, this was planned by Allah Azza wa This is entirely planned by Allah. We have to have a closeness to Allah that when He plans something for you and me, even when it's painful, He doesn't do it for anything except love. That Allah Azza wa loves His ibad. That He loves what is best for them. He loves us more than we could ever love ourselves. He cares more for us than we can ever care for ourselves. He provides us more than we could ever provide for ourselves. When we forget that, when we forget that, guidance goes away. Allah says, وَمَن يُؤْمِن بِاللَّهِ يَهْدِي قَلْبَهُ In Surah Al-Taghabun, on the same issue, whatever calamity strikes you, it comes from Allah, it came by Allah's permission, and whoever can have Iman in Allah at that time, you have Iman in Allah anyway, you believe in one God, but when you're, when you're in a difficulty, well, that's when you start questioning why is Allah doing this, right? That's the time when Allah puts the words, وَمَن يُؤْمِن بِاللَّهِ Whoever can truly believe in Allah then. Yeah, you always say Allah is Ar-Rahman, but do you really feel Allah is Ar-Rahman right now? Nah, right now He's probably Dhuntiqam. Right now He's probably the one who takes revenge. Right now it's probably Jabbar, not Ar-Rahman right now. That's your Iman went away. Your Iman and Ar-Rahman went away when you were in difficulty. Allah says, if you can have Iman in Ar-Rahman at that time, 
the best of Allah's names, the best of what is Allah is to you, what He described Himself to you. At that moment, then what gift will Allah give you? And this is the conclusion to my khutbah. Like, what is it that Allah will give you? I want health. I want recovery. I want a job. I want money. I want a better family situation. I want escape. Some people just want escape. I just want this other person to stop hurting me. I want people to stop talking about me. Whatever it is, there's something that's bothering you and it's eating away at you. And if you think if that problem went away, you would have peace. Every one of us has some problem that keeps us up at night. We're thinking about it and we're saying, man, if that went away, I'd be all right. Guess what? When that one goes away, there's going to be another one. And when that one goes away, there's going to be another one. And when the other one comes, you're like, the last one was easier. This, where did this come from? <laughs> this is way a bigger problem. What does Allah give you when you can trust Him? He doesn't end your problems. This life, problems will not go away. If problems were going to go away, they would have gone away for Yaqub a lot sooner than for you and me. If, the prob if no problems would have come, because we have Iman, then Maryam Salamun Aliha should not have had problems. Rasulullah should not have had problems. You study the people that are closest to Allah and all you're studying are problems. Really big ones, their entire life. That's all you're studying. You're just learning about one problem to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. That's all you're learning. Yusuf a great profound messenger of Allah and... I mean from childhood there are problems. From childhood there are problems. So what, I keep asking that question. What is it that Allah has given you? What do you get when you completely put your trust in Allah in the middle, in the thick of a difficulty when everybody else is telling you Allah is... On the one hand, people are telling you Allah is angry at you, that's why this is happening. Allah hates you, that's why this is happening. On the other hand, you start thinking Allah is punishing me, that's why this is happening. At that moment when you can have the best impression of Allah and maintain your love and reliance and bond with Allah, that Allah is, has not let you go, he hasn't. What does he give you? Yahdi qalba. He guides this person's heart. He gives their heart guidance. I can guarantee you, when your problem goes away, if it's a money problem, if money comes in, if it's a health problem, and health comes back, if it's a family problem, the family problem goes away. None of the good things in this life are worth anything compared to that one gift. That one gift is Yahdi qalba. He'll guide his heart your heart will be at peace. No matter what is happening in life, there's still a smile on your face. And people are looking at you and saying, why are you smiling? Why are you okay? Look at what's happened to you. Look at what's going on. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. It's cool. When you can develop that, there are people that will have all the money in the world and they still can't sleep. There are gonna be people that have everything you ever imagined will bring happiness. They have it and they don't have peace. They don't have, they, 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 they are not happy with themselves. They drown themselves in drugs and alcohol to get, to escape reality. They can't face reality. And other people watch videos about how, how, how amazing their crib is and how sweet their ride is. And they're looking at that and saying, I want that. Ya layta lana mithla ma utiya Qarun. I, I wish we had what Qarun has. Man, that's, that's some boss life he's living. And yet on the other hand, all, all, all Allah will give you, if you can turn to Him, He'll give you the one thing that no amount of money, no amount of popularity, no amount of people not arguing, or people liking you, people appreciating you, none of that will give you what this one gift that can only be given by Allah, Yahdi Qalbahu. Allah will guide His heart. Allah will guide this person's heart. This is the ultimate gift of Iman. This is the ultimate gift of musibah. So now, let's finally, let me conclude. I started this khutbah talking about difficult situations. People are stuck. You're stuck, I'm stuck. In some situation, we, we don't see a way out. Those difficult situations are actually Allah's way of giving us the most valuable gift we could ever earn. His way of guiding our hearts. If we can just use those situations to find Allah in those situations, to talk to Allah in those situations. And you don't have to know Arabic to do that. You don't have to know a lot of Quran to do that. You just turn to Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.